All right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being de depressed, not being the champion, all that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. What a moment, all eyes are on the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion as she tries to succeed in defending the title yet again. She's one of the best pound for pound fighters, man or woman on this roster, and prohibitively favored yet again in defense of her title. I love her confidence. I just love the way she carries herself as the champion. You don't have to know she's the champ to know she's the champ, because when you look at her, she has that star ability about her. And even though she has that, all of it's rooted in her fighting ability. She is one of the best the Octagon's ever seen. And I do think she could be a double champion, but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation. She is focused on the task in front of her team. Our tale of the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Norma the Immortal Dumont. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Raquel Rocky Pennington. Herb Dean, third Green man fight. in the octagon Green. tonight. Our right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rules set, not a whole lot of them, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all, and if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Oh, he's down the target there with a straight right counter. Right, so the kickboxer is landing her leg kicks here early. The boxer kind of shucking them off, but you don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It's going to really limit you. And there's no tell on those leg kicks. She's in her stance, she's tall, and she's just whipping her leg into that kick. It's beautiful. It really is something that every young fighter can learn from. Don't show your attacks, just let them fly. Oh, nice technique by her there on the sidekick, DC. Defensively, how do you stop? When somebody's trying to sidekick you, you got to take your outside arm, roll that kick off to the side, or just move your feet a little bit. But it's hard when somebody's so good at doing that specific strike. Oh, nice straight punch there by Dumont. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Work. 
She's got a really good left hand. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of her though. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land. And to this point, she has done just that. Oh, and there's a kick to the body. Not having that one blocked by Dumont. Trying to establish that jab once again. All 25 total strikes and count. Oh, another one. Back to the feet. She got that leg kick off quick. Oh, she's got to keep pressing now. Norma Dumont going for the body. Missed with that kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. So there's the horn, one of the more exciting rounds you will ever see in MMA. They fought it on a napkin in the center of the octagon. Both women got knocked down. Got 60 seconds to recover now. A ton of give and take action over the course of that round. Both were able to land. Both thought that the knockdowns that they got were the ones that was going to finish the fight. It did not happen for either. So how do they approach this next round? All right, so she's making her way back to the stool. Kind of shaking her head. Thought maybe that knockdown would have produced a finish. Not so much. She's a little discouraged right now because she thought the fight was over. But if you know her, you if you spent any time right. with her, you understand that she's yeah. a smart fighter. And she will get right back to doing what she needs to do to win this fight. Oh, man. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Yeah. Try to establish that jab. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Raquel Pennington. Straight right hand, but she misses. Her leg kick is great. There it is. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Well, she's got a good jab. Missed with it there. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks tonight, and that left thigh now starting to show signs of bruising. Three minutes. Looked like maybe she was going to set up the side kick, and there it is. She did a good job of getting that foot up and right to the target. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, you can see her limp it a little bit now. That leg is hurting for certain. Beautiful hands on display. Another punch lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Another nice kick by her there, and as a lot of fighters will say, no pad on the foot. No pad on the foot, and no shin guards to protect you. She is blasting her opponent right now. Beautiful. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, 
Big left. Fighter lands a left punch, nicely done. 10 seconds now to go in the round. And the horn sounds on round two. Take a seat. Deep breath. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. All right, great round it was. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, a lot for the replay guys to choose from. But, John, it's going to be mostly kicks. Right. She landed them over and over again, found her target, locked in on it, and drove her shin right through her opponent's body. That was a great display of kicking in the UFC. You ready? You ready? Third Good. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hold Strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Man, that thigh is starting to show some signs of bruising. She's almost smirking about it, right? But yeah. you've got to address it. You can't laugh at it now. You can't laugh at all. You've got to do a better job of addressing it and deter your opponent from going back to the well. Because otherwise, it'll just get worse and worse. Dumont going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, nice jab, nice pick. And that one certainly found the target. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. I mean, at this point, she has got welts on top of welts. That thigh is severely damaged at this stage of the fight. Well, John, our opponent came into our fight meeting and she told us, I am going to beat her legs up. It ain't gonna be calf kicks, it's gonna be high thigh kicks. And she won't recognize the difference. She won't recognize how to defend. She's done that, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Trying to kick the leg out. She continues to punish the body yet again, just as she did in the last round, picking up exactly where she left off. Nice kick to the midsection. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Oh, man, another huge kick. 90 seconds to go in the round. Lands the jab. Oh, nice jab. She's going back to the jab. Just out of range with that right hand. Under a minute to go. Oh, she continues to pour it on. She is landing at will, eternally aggressive with her striking, and she also has a pretty good gas tank, so she doesn't appear to be worried about that. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Final seconds here. She will live to see another round. So back to the stool. She only has 60 seconds here to recover. We'll see if her corner physically and mentally can keep her in this fight. What a seminal moment there at the end of the round. All right, so there is the horn. So we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't usually get up from those types of strikes. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. 
right, here we go. I'm excited, man. Fourth round is underway as we hit these championship rounds. Both of these women with a lot still left in the tank, or so it seems. They did a great job of preparing themselves for the long fight. Let's see who can sustain the energy over the next 10 minutes. Putting those punches together, she lands a nice combo up top. All right, so she lands yet another leg kick there. She's landed several in the round, and now you see the damage. It's obvious on the other side. I mean, look at the redness in the leg, the bruising, the welts on the leg Nasty. from those leg kicks. It's unbelievable to watch someone land that kick over and over again. But if it's working, why would you change it? Keep going to the welts. Pennington going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Nice defense by her there. She blocks the punch. Hands higher, hands higher. She missed with that jab. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Good stick. In a world of trouble, we'll see if she can survive. Oh, with authority, the body. Get out of there. Throws a big right hand. by Dumont. It may not look like she's hurt uh, to the blind eye, but she's getting stunned. You keep taking that, it'll be a short night. Keep your hands up. Use your now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Big shot lands for both sides. She's off the bat, G.A. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, nice shot to the body. Connects for her there. Somewhat surprising we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the game. Oh, oh, she's hurt. She's hurt back. That was lightning fast, that right hand. There's the end of the round. Multiple knockdowns for her in that round, and they may want to ask her opponent what day it is. It's Saturday. I'm not sure if she knows it. She does not know it at this point. But, I mean, it's the ability to find the perfect shot by this young lady. It's no rush. It's no force. She's always doing things the correct way, but she's just landing exactly where she needs to land to put herself in the position that she finds herself in right now. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, fifth and final round. Great punch landed with so much power. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Oh, oh she's officially wobbled now. Oh, that's big. Dumont's left leg appeared to be damaged by that last kick, so could be an emerging storyline as this fight continues. Oh, nice. She pops that jab behind the shoulder. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Pennington. Oh, a beautiful land with the front kick there. Defensively, not a good sign for her. It landed exactly where she needed it to. She has to make changes, start turning the elbow inside to try to make her kick toe to her elbow. 
Well, you've heard us say it a lot, but oftentimes with the leg kicks, it doesn't take a whole lot of them to inflict damage, and now her opponent's limping already. Yeah, her opponent's limping. She's done a really good job of attacking that leg kick and setting it up to make sure that opponent never checked them. Now she's at a point where even if she checks the kick, it's still gonna hurt her. Well, I'm not sure if there's an injury or something, but... Oh! Good defensive vision to block that punch. Oh! oh, she might be able to get her out of there now. Nice shot there by the champ. She landed that jab. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Goodness, back and forth we go. Massive shots being landed on both sides. Now she touches her in the hand. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big power shot there. Nice job blocking her. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Final seconds of this fight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Raquel Rocky Pennington. Well, not unlike the great Israel Adesanya, she doesn't hope and pray. She aims and fires, and she is still the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champ. What a great champion that rules atop this division. She's the queen, the queen of the world in one of the UFC's best women's divisions.